Okay, hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of On The Wrist from Off The Cuff. Today, we'll be doing another product review, so not specifically a watch review, but uh, we're gonna be reviewing a particular product. And today, uh, we'll be looking at an awesome new strap option from Crafter Blue. So Crafter Blue is a new company out of Hong Kong, and um, they were established just last year in 2015. They produce uh, aftermarket professional grade rubber drive straps. So some of those products that they come out with are application specific, while others are universal fit. We'll be taking a look at both, but we're definitely gonna start off with this awesome uh, product specific uh, unit here for the Seiko Sumo. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right. So as you can see, the main difference here that is that it actually has the fitted ends there. So there's no gap in the case, which is very nice. And it actually flows really well with the case. As you can see, this is really well designed. Do you see that break in the line right there uh, from you know that great curvature that the Sumo has? It just uh, fits really, really nicely. And as you can see, it's very thick. It, it, it actually tapers um, from much thicker here at the base to thinner down here at the end, as you can see, right? It's just a comparison. And also you can see also how flexible that is, which is very nice. And then the very uh, outstanding hardware here uh, little note, the cool thing is that they actually sell this uh, this keeper here, the stainless steel keeper. Um, you can buy that separately and it is uh, meant to fit 20 millimeter straps. So this will actually work really great on an ISO frame. So very cool. The rubber itself is very soft, very pliable. It has, um, you know, it's not super porous. Uh, it actually has a nice uh, kind of... Uh, matte sheen to it uh so it's actually not that uh i wouldn't say it's like dust prone that's one of the things you can get with certain straps it's kind of a balance right um kind of this more slick and shiny it is the less prone it is to dust but also the less comfortable this strap actually i feel finds a really good balance and taking a look on the underside you'll see that um it is not just flat and plain under here. More care has been taken, as you can see. And what these little pockets and these cutouts actually do is it makes it to where the strap isn't sitting directly on your wrist. So there's a little bit of air right there. And um, if you sweat or anything like that, it kind of gives that stuff a place to go so this won't get greasy or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get this on the wrist. Okay, so as you can see, it definitely fits very nicely, very sleek. And you know, one of the things that kind of kept me away from the Sumo um, is that it does wear a little large. I think with the uh, larger bezel, it, it just uh, reads a little bit bigger and then also these really long lugs, but they do curve down, which is nice. So it's actually really comfortable. You know, of course, then I wouldn't expect any less from Seiko. Um, but the bracelet seemed a bit thin. I think, actually, the uh, the bracelet that they executed, which is very similar in design uh, for the new SRP Turtles, actually came out a lot nicer. I think the proportion-wise, it, uh, it, it just came out uh, really nice. But anyways, back to this strap. Um, as you can see, 20 millimeters wide that natural rubber. It doesn't have like some really heavy artificial vanilla scent or anything like that, uh, which is nice, but it does smell very crisp, very clean, not like uh, rubber or anything like that. So as you can see here on the wrist, rides really well. Underneath, got the great keeper there. 
So I gotta say I'm really impressed with this piece. It definitely steps the the watch's game up quite a bit. And you know, I won't name any other brands, but there are some, you know, quote unquote high-end uh rubber specific, you know, um fitted end link uh strap options out there for some high-end Swiss models. So it's really cool to see some of that um same type of design trickle down here, um, you know, uh for Japanese watches, which are you know uh, a little bit more on the more attainable side and one of the really cool things is hopefully the light can catch it do you see that sheen that same you know matte black finish there it actually just really nicely complements the dial so you can see the light kind of transitions you know uh, if, if the crystal doesn't get too much in the way it definitely fits that that dial perfectly and it really looks like this is the way the watch was supposed to come. So a little bit about the, the watch. Um, at, at the thickest point in the rubber, it's actually uh, 7.4 millimeters thick. Um, the keepers and the hardware essentially are also made out of 316L stainless steel, which is great. Uh, as far as the different colors that are available, it's available in black, blue, orange, you know, the, the, I'm really pleased with the rubber. It's really soft and pliable. It's really well fitted to the case. Um, and, you know, as far as pricing goes, these retail for about 85 bucks, um, but they normally have sales. And I believe right now you can, they can be had for about $64. So very impressed with this piece. So just make sure you guys get a good look at it. But let's also take a look at um actually let's let's take a closer look and one of the cool things is the packaging it comes in um it comes in this awesome little uh sealed case you know, it's just a little tear away here and so we can just kind of take a closer look at the strap itself uh the nice thing about the orange model is that you know you can actually see it a little bit better because uh, of the higher contrast you can see some of those details just a little bit nicer so figure take a close look and and look at the way the fitted end here there's nothing sloppy nothing looks unfinished you know it has this little insert uh for the kind of hard plastic that's that's really just built in there and um and that's really what keeps the the band here in position so it's it actually you know like a almost like a solid end link it fits right up against the case and then you can have all this flex while this piece stays in place, which is really nice, uh, really well executed, I have to say. So as you can see, just a closer look, the details, you know, really nicely finished. I gotta say, you know, I've used a lot of different uh, rubber straps, you know, ranging in various price ranges, and this hangs right up there with the best of them. So uh, very impressive for a first outing from crafter blue and then let's go ahead and take a closer look so you can see it's actually signed here underneath the buckle very cool all brushed finish you know very nice um, and then you can take a look at the metal keeper there which is pretty cool and also retails for um, about 25 bucks so it's a nice little upgrade for isoframe straps or really any other strap whether it's a you know a 22 that tapers to a 20 or just a straight uh 20 millimeter width i think that's just a really nice touch uh especially when you consider that the new srp turtles are coming with the uh with the steel hardware you know i think it's a great look and this definitely and you can see right there i mean the the let's try to get it to focus there the thickness is very nice. It's not by any means, you know, some cheap piece there. It's got, it's not tinny, you know, it's definitely nice solid piece of metal there. Then as you can see, of course, it has the little pins so that, you know, you can take this thing out and clean it out if you need to or if you ever wanted to swap it out. But I, I think this is just really great hardware. So very impressive from Crafter Blue and awesome packaging because I have tons of straps that are um, 
just kind of packed away in oversized Ziploc bags. So this kind of keeps it nice and fresh for you. So very cool. So while we have a little bit of time, I figured we could bring out the 22 millimeter universal straps as well. So as you can see, we'll start with the black here on my special edition uh, Seiko Nano Universe. Um, just to give you an idea, and I thought the black really complemented the, uh, the the plastic rubberized bezel on here. Um, I've done a review on this watch. Go ahead and check it out on the channel. Great little piece, but uh, just to focus here, um, the cool thing is their universal model is 22 millimeters, which is kind of what most other Seiko watches are, you know, apart from the Marine Master and uh, Sumo. As far as their divers go, most of them have a 22 millimeter lug with. So this is definitely really nice. The main difference, you know, of course, you're going to see it's a straight end, um, but it is nice and thick. So it almost, you know, you almost don't even see the ends, right? Especially on like this model. Um, so it, it almost gives you that same appearance as a fitted strap. And then, you know, the cutouts, you know, it's, it's a little reminiscent of the ISO frame, of course, is kind of what you think, but they're more elongated. And I asked about that because I actually really like the non cutout look that they did here. And the reason why they did this is actually a little bit of design engineering. Um, if this was just all solid and thick, when you would try to bend it, it just wouldn't have the same pliable nature, right? So this basically allows it to be more flexible and more comfortable. The reason why you don't have to worry about that here is because the lug is actually held at an angle. Um, so this actually doesn't have to bend. You know, when I take this off, you'll see that it just kind of sticks out. It just comes out here. It doesn't shoot back out. So it's actually a lot less pressure um, trying to get the uh, the strap to conform to the to that shape. So Definitely a very cool piece. And we'll take a look at the turtle. My uh, SRP uh, reissue. As you can see, even for the turtle, right? It, it Since it has that similar, really short, straight lug design, it, you know, it really gives you the same type of uh, illusion that it's almost like a fitted strap because it just fits so well. Let's go ahead and get this on the wrist, actually. Okay, so as you can see here, as I was talking about earlier, the strap actually naturally lays really nicely, right? So you can see there, if this wants to stay focused, um, it actually really just follows the, the very nice sweep of the case there, which is very unique and uh, I think really finely executed. So let's just put that down here and We'll get this bad boy on. All right, so as you can see, works really nicely. I think the orange too is, is a great hue. Not too bright, you know, not too rich. It's really that classic kind of diver's orange. And the cutouts, you know, although I wasn't a huge fan initially, I gotta say um, the more square versus rectangular uh, cutout shape, it's it's really growing on me. I, I, I can definitely see the kind of uh, appeal that the design has. So I, I really do like it. And they were right, it is a lot more comfortable, especially considering how thick the strap is right there. If you can see, that's very, very thick. And then uh, basically, so for the universal fit, um, those actually retail for about $62. And uh, you can, uh, it looks like, I think there's a sale right now going and you can get them for about 47. So it's really nice, especially considering the 22 millimeter lug width. So it's gonna fit most other Seikos that you're gonna have, well, divers anyway, uh, which is what you're gonna be looking for. So very cool, very well fitted, finely engineered. You know, I just, I'm just couldn't be more pleased with these straps. Uh, very impressed. So, you know, some of my closing thoughts. Um, let me get kind of a resting wristy there. 
you know, it really adds to the sumo. Um, you know, it kind of makes up for that divisive OEM bracelet, right? That's a little thin, um, you know, diameter wise and also thickness wise. It's, it's uh, something that's honestly turned me away from the sumo, but this strap actually kind of makes me just want to buy a sumo. Uh, so, um, it, you know, that's just a kind of a true testament to the quality of the strap. You know, it's uh, very comfortable and finely crafted. It has a very, very much a premium feel, and it doesn't really have a premium price, uh, which is pretty impressive. Um, the matte finish, you know, of course, nicely matches the dial as far as the finishing on the strap itself. Um, it's really a mix of style and performance. You know, it's not just a design exercise. You know, it's it's really, you know, these were engineered. So the pieces and, and you know, the designs you see underneath, everything is purposeful. There's nothing there that's, that's, you know, ornamental. So that's really cool and I think really fits the dive watch aesthetic. Some cool news is their actual next uh, specific application is going to be for the Marine Master 300 which is going to be awesome. So I'm really looking forward to seeing those. I believe they're kind of slated for the end of the summer. They should be ready. And I believe they're actually going to make them compatible with the Marine Master, the uh, Ratchet and Clasp, which I think is very, very cool and should be really a huge hit. So I think that's going to be awesome. And what I'm really most excited about is their next application is going to be a fitted end strap for the Seiko SKX, which is, of course, a huge watch, has a huge following. Um, and I'm really excited to see those because, you know, as you know, you've seen my modified SKX, you know, um, it's a very entry level watch, but it can really be enhanced by swapping different straps, bracelets, dials, hands, and everything like that. So it's really cool to kind of have another really premium option, uh, to play with. So I I'm just definitely really excited, uh, on all fronts there. So definitely check out these guys, look them up. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to their uh, social media as well as uh, their retail site because definitely keep a lookout, especially for all you Seiko dive watch fans out there. Definitely uh, worth checking out. So, you know, as somebody who has, you know, probably more straps than I have watches and I have like 40 something watches. I have a little bit of experience with uh, different straps and I gotta say, yeah, these definitely get top marks from me. So thanks for watching guys. Um, go ahead and hit like if you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already, please subscribe for more content. Thanks. Go ahead and check this out on the way out. Thanks guys.